Welcome to this uh, eighth, I think, in the series titled Living Rivers, Dying Rivers. Some of you may not have attended earlier events in this program, so let me tell you very briefly. <clears throat> we started with the proposition that all of us know that some rivers are in very bad shape. The Yamuna in Delhi, the Ganga, and various other rivers and other streets also. And at the same time, there are a few here and there which are still fairly healthy. So the question arose, why do some rivers die? And what happens, what, what went wrong in those cases? And how is it that a few rivers still remain reasonably healthy and what went right? Or was it entirely accidental? So we, so we thought we'd look at a few rivers from all the states of India. Actually, we are not covering all the states. We started this last June or July, and I think with March, <coughs> this program comes to an end. But that wouldn't cover all the states. We still don't have anybody from <coughs> Odisha or uh, West Bengal or Punjab, Haryana. I don't think we have any presentation on the inter system. So possibly we can get some written papers from them, even though we may not hold meetings. And depending on the quality of the papers that I, written papers that I receive, we are thinking of bringing it out as a book at the end of this. And I think it should give us some fairly useful insights. Actually, I have myself learned a great deal from these six or seven programs we've had. We had one on the Ganga, that was the first one, then the Yamuna. Then we had something on the, north, the rivers in the northeast, Brahmaputra and other rivers in the northeast. Then Bihar, <coughs> Koshi and, uh, Koshi and uh, Bhagmati. And then there was also, we took advantage of a couple of people who were Nepalese who were present here, Nepalese scholars. And we ha had them talk to us about the Bhagmati in Nepal. And we had uh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Maharashtra, and the Western Ghats. These are the things which have been covered. We have today, it's Karnataka. Then we have uh, Gujarat and Andhra Pradesh. I think that, that's the end of it. So today, if the, we have the rivers of Karnataka. One interesting thing has been that though we title this as living rivers and dying rivers. Practically everybody has been talking about dying rivers. There have been very few instances of living rivers. A couple were mentioned, Shastri in Maharashtra and <coughs> Tamraparni in Tamil Nadu, but they are only living for the time being. They are also under threat. I don't know what Leo Saldana is going to tell us. He is a full-time court. I'm, I'm not going to read out the extensive <coughs> CV that I have here. I'll just mention a few points. He's a full-time coordinator and founding trustee of the Environment Support Group. Uh, he and I have been in contact for a very long time. He's a doughty campaigner for environmental causes, wide-ranging experience in the areas of environmental law and policy, decentralization, urban planning, and so on. As I said, he's a keen campaigner on critical environmental and social justice issues. And uh, in 2007, he, along with his team, authored this book, Green Tapism, which is a critique of the environment impact notification of the Ministry of Environmental Policy of 2006, a notorious notification. He has been invited as a speaker by organizations and universities across the world. In August 2010, he was invited as a speaker at the International Forum on China's Rural Reform in the 12th five-year plan period, organized by the Chinese Institute for Reform and Development. And I think you are going to be followed by Bhargavi Rao. No, Bhargavi will speak first. Then I see. Okay. Bhargavi Rao is a trustee and coordinator of the, uh, of the educational and training programs 
at the ESG. He also facilitates research, coordination, and mobilization on campaign initiatives. She's been a co-speaker <clears throat> at many of the talks and workshops on issues of environment, social justice, and so on in various universities around the world. So with those brief remarks by way of introduction, now I will request them to make their presentations. You can take, I don't know, it's now quarter past six. We can go up to seven, and then that will leave us what an hour for discussion, depending on the extent of participation. <clears throat> 